Okay, so we're going to make, I'm going to show you how to make a sunflower the hard way because there's about, there's three ways that I know how to make sunflowers. There's, um, come down here. You can use cutters, which is the easy way. You cut twice and then just overlap them. You can also use a mold like this. This is a very small mold of, uh, which gives you something like this little guy here. So you can use the mold, the cutters, or you can do it the very hard way, which is actually what I like to call the fun way, is that you do it petal by petal. And uh, listen, I only cut uh, here eight petals for the uh, top layer, eight petals for the bottom layer. So come on, you have 16, uh, you know, you put 16 petals on, on, a, on a, a brown disc and, and you're done. So anyway. You begin by um, just cut out little triangles for the petals, like this. That's one. You only have to do actually this one time because if you cut it like I'm doing here, the negative that you're leaving here will also be uh, the next row of petals. So just simply cut out eight petals and then those will be your next eight after you've cut out eight you can just go da -da and drop them oh also you can actually keep them all connected to each other and that's a really fast way to do it but since I'm showing you the long way yeah so take your polymer clay your big brown block and roll out a small disc this disc is going to be the center of your flower and what you're going to do is you're going to take the petals you made you don't have to actually use all sixteen of them and uh, you're just gonna press it down on the back like so you can uh... you don't have to just make sunflowers with this you can make daisies with this round the petals out make daisies you can also make a uh, black eyed susans with this technique you can do almost anything with this technique uh... what other kind of flower you can change the color, make the center yellow, and make the pe uh, the petals more rounded out. You could make chrysanthemums even with this technique. Just make the center really small so that you can uh, push it in when you're done. So anyway, I'm just going around here making you know like a sun, and uh, so that's the uh, the first eight petals right there. Um, if you'd like, you can score some lines in. Now, when you use the uh, the cutter method, you would just use a um, a resin mold, which I'll show in a different video when I'm doing maybe a different flower. There's a resin mold that you can just press the clay into, and it gives the lines for the leaves. This is focusing really close. Anyway, I put lines. In the leak. It really makes quite a bit of difference because texture over uh, smooth flatness. Anyway, um, so you got your first set of leaves, and then you're going to go ahead and put your second set on right behind these, or rather in the middle of these guys, like so. That one's deformed. Anyway, like I said, this is the hard method, but it's really fun. I mean, I've done lilies like this, roses, sunflowers, um, tulips are really simple. You know why? Because it's the cutters are a lot of fun, but it's also cool to just do it this way, especially if you're not making a ton of flowers and you don't have time restrictions. This is kind of relaxing, you know. Now you can, uh, you can. There's several things you can either you can score like cross hatch pattern on here which I I kinda like it when it's when it has this one on it that kinda pattern or a lot of people are are just stabbing dots into it or even just roughly going over the surface just to create a you know like a, a texture so there you have it that's it
that's how easy it is to do it the hard way here's one that I did earlier it's a little bit smaller the pedal stuck in there so and you can bake these and end up having them in a beautiful display uh, you can add them to your favorite flower display or you can use the mold this mold here and create these guys which uh, I made them look like daisies with the sunflower mold so that's that make some cool flowers guys I'm going to keep these.